Okay, I went ahead, I've got this side matching this side. Here's not exactly the same shape, but uh, we'll work on that once we get down to that point. We're just roughing out right now. Uh, I did finish this head up yesterday, so he's all done. Got him kind of looking off in the one direction over there. So anyway, let's just set him aside. So today we're going to work on the mustache and the nose, all right? Now, one thing I like to do right off is I like to get rid of all these saw marks. This seems to bug me. I can't see the wood with all those saw marks in the way. So we'll just carve all those away. So now we have the nice clean face. Okay, so let's start by hitting his nose. Okay, here's the point of the nose. So let's just make a mark right underneath that. Right there like that. So that's the bottom, bottom of the nose. Okay. Emails. And I'm going to make a cut right across there like that. I like to do is once I get the nose established, and remember we're doing a mustache now, so his nose is not going to stick out as far as it normally would. So there was, there's our center line. So what I like to do is the ball of his nose is going to be about like that, right there, okay? And the nostrils will be about there. And then they'll come up like that. So what I like to do is I like to just start, start outlining those areas like that. Turn the lights down to hopefully give you a better view. I noticed you, that last video was the carving itself was so bright that you couldn't really see the see what I, I was doing. We also turned Judy's position around a little to hopefully let you see a little bit more what's going on instead of my shoulder and my gray hair. Get rid of those marks. So there, now we have his nose laid out on his face, okay? Now we can establish his mustache as soon as I even this up. I want these two points to be the same as they are now. So now we can start with his mustache. So starting right there at the point of the nose, because he's got a bushy one, we'll come down. go up. Good. That branch is going to be in the mustache area. Now we just have to even this out. So it doesn't get confusing. So 
So there we have his mustache. Hopefully you can see that. Alright, now, again, not this, not this, this. Always carve into the waste, if you can, of the wood you're going to remove. So we just put our point right there at that junction where the edge end of the nose nostril hits the mustache. And we just carve right down along that line. Just like that. And when you take this chip out, this is a real important chip when you're taking it out right there. So it's taking that out, that point right there establishes the high point on his cheek. That point right there. It's important. If you take it up too high, you're going to cut it off. If you take it up too low, it won't show. It has to be just right. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm just taking this off. I'm not being as aggressive as I normally am because I don't want to <laughs> slip up on the camera. That'd be embarrassing. There, see, we've got the one side done. Now let's do the other side. Raise my knife point just a little up, a little there. Again, at a slant. And again, being careful with that chip right there. So now we have his mustache. Now he's fat in the cheeks. Well, we're going to get rid of that stuff. This is what I'm telling you, was talking about earlier. See, that, this side came off real easy. This side, not so easy because of the slant of the grain when it's in that wood. So we have to be careful. Get off of there. There, see, so he's not so fat faced now. off of that ear as we're doing this. shape. So now we can round this mustache off just a bit. There. 
We've got a little triangular chip right there, like that. Did you miss that? Look at that little triangular chip right there. He's still a little fat in the face, which is really distracting. Oh, there's a rooster across the street, and he just cannot wake up. He's just over there, just a crowing and a crowing. I guess because it's overcast out there today, and he can't figure out what time it is. There we go, we're starting to get there now. Alright, one last thing here. Let's go ahead and draw the underside of his mustache. I think I told you once before, I kind of neglected this area down here once on another carving. And Lost the sail because of it. Oh, watch out there. Yeah, he's going to be on disability here soon, like everybody else. Got to get his jaw back there where it's supposed to be. And I think that's just about going to do it for this video. So he's established his ears, his head, his nose, his mustache, and he's starting to look pretty good. You can see where he's going. You can also see how fat his head is. Fat head. And it's a little shorter than that one there, but that's, that's no problem with that. But he looks pretty good. I can see the character in there. So anyway, in the next one we'll work on these areas up in here. And uh, probably just refine everything else as we go along up in this area here. Because when you're doing something uh, you know, one area, you have to consider the other areas that you might have worked on before. And you don't, you know, I don't want to go put any detail on this mustache yet, or the ears, or anywhere really, until we really get the head blocked out. You saw this head in that other video, 
how it looked before I uh, put any detail on it. Well, that's that's what we're working towards. It's just a step. We're heading for a goal down the road somewhere, and uh, we'll eventually get there. But we want everybody to come along and get there at the same time. So that'll do it for this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.